Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. So I'm shooting this uh, video because I pay attention to all the questions that people ask me and I, I, I really pay attention to the text messages and the emails and what I try to do is, you know, I'll make notes, you know, over the course of, you know, a week or two and I will try to compile all of it and come up with a video. So this video is another installment in the Untold Truth and Detailing, which is wildly popular because I'm telling you guys the truths that other detailers and other people in the industry just don't want to talk about. This video specifically is going to be called, There's More Than One Way to Skin a Cat. And what I mean by that, that's a popular saying, and what that means is there's more than one way to achieve a very similar end result. And so the reason that that is significant here and in the detailing industry is you have people from different parts of the world, from different uh, cultural backgrounds and from different eco economical backgrounds and you know different stages in their careers and life and all that stuff and I see a lot of guys on you know specifically on the internet that you know they're talking about well you, you need to do this and that and this and that to get this end result well here's the bottom line guys if someone doesn't like the way that you do something that's their problem not your problem your problem is making sure that what you're doing to achieve whatever end result you set out to achieve is efficient, is, um, or, you know, efficiency actually covers a, a broad range of, of different qualities, but, you know, just because the internet or other people don't like the way that you got an end result doesn't mean it's bad is, is really what I'm getting at. There are more than one, there's more than a hundred ways to do pretty much everything. And so I specifically want to reach out to you guys and let you know that if, if you guys see something that I do or that someone else does on the interwebs or whatever, um, which is slam full of you know, the inner interweb, you know, you're just going to get everybody's opinion. Um, they're, you know, it's slam full of keyboard warriors or whatever you want to call them. You know, people who have no real world experience but like to run that mouth. Uh, and, you know, you're going to get different opinions. Um, and the problem is most of those opinions aren't based on any kind of, of real world experience, which is the main factor that matters is a quality opinion uh, if you're li listening to opinions. But I can tell you the best way to go about figuring out how to do something is to try it the way you think it should be done and see what kind of end result you get. If you would like a better end result, you can take other people's advice if you want to try to achieve a, a certain end result. But my, I wouldn't say my claim to fame or claim, you know, my, t t my straight, straight on ticket to success, I wouldn't say that it's that, you know, 100% that I, I paid my own path. I, you know, you guys know, I, I don't, I don't go look in for what everybody else is doing. I pay a lot of attention to what I'm doing because that's the only way I'm going to make me better. Um, you know, on the internet and, you know, doing your searching, it's a good way to get a, a roundabout idea of how you should go about doing something. But ultimately you really should take it upon yourself to spend a little bit of time and hone that, you know, Get your own end result. Try things several different ways and see which way works best for you. Because, you know, because opinions are like assholes and everybody has one, um, you're never going to really know what works the best in your environment, in your culture, in your environment, uh, economical um, demographic. You'll never know what works the best for you if you don't sit down and try to create your own way of doing something. And that's not, tr I'm not trying to say that you need to, um, you know, 
put a bunch of steps in order like I did and create the Gary Dean wash method. Um, you know, that was just me putting my name on something because that's the way I did it. Now, you know, you, you just need to really figure it out for yourself. These people on the internet, most of them have no clue, um, you know, what they're talking about. So my, and, and I've mentioned all of this in other videos. I mean, the, the, the internet is a big dumb ogre uh, full of randomness and bandwagoners and bullshitters and, you know, people who just don't know. So get out there and try things for yourself. I mean, that's the only real way you're going to put together systems that will make you successful. Um, you know, again, it's okay to get a roundabout idea of how to start something or, or you know, how to go about doing something. But ultimately, you really need to focus on creating your own method to your madness, if you will, um, your own way to get to an end result. Try different methods and see which way works best for you. I can tell you from experience, you're probably going to try something one way, try it another way, try it a third way, fourth way, fifth way, and you're going to end up trying to pull different things from all the ways you tried it and put them together into one very efficient, awesome, way to be, way to do something. And that's the same with every single thing that you do in life and in detailing. Doesn't matter. There's no differentiator between life and business as far as figuring things out to make them work the best that they can for you. That's the same way with, uh, for example, dilution ratios and whatnot. Everybody's all about, how do you dilute your products, Gary Dean? How do you do this? How do you do that? And how'd you work this? Listen, I can give you my own favorite dilution ratios for each product that I sell, but the reality is you need to do your own testing to see what works best for you and the application. Both of those two factors are very, very important. So test, test, retest, and test again until you knock it out of the park on your method to the madness that's in your mind. Spend less time worrying about what others are doing and more time worrying about how you can be the best that you can be on your own account. You don't need everybody else's opinion. What you may need, the only thing you may need is an idea of how to go about it, how to get started. An idea that sparks this evolutionary process in your mind that ultimately gets you from not knowing how to do something to doing it very well because you've done your own homework, you've done trial and error, uh, trial and error, R and D, all of that stuff to figure it out. So this has been another episode of the Untold Truth in Detailing from yours truly, Gary Dean. Um, I want to thank you guys. I mean, this 2017 year has been absolutely amazing. I have so many new expansions and developments and uh, there's lots of new stuff coming. Not necessarily products. Um, I will have lots of videos coming up. I have lots of content um, that I will be shooting very soon on th some things that I'm doing because uh, I know the, the haters want to know what I'm doing so that you guys can steal my shit and uh, benefit yourself. Well, I've been holding out for a little while on a couple of things and um, you guys are really going to get a kick out of it. And good luck to you if you want to try to knock it off because that's what everybody does to my stuff. It is what it is. When you're good at what you do, other people want to do it and you know, you got the jealous haters out there. So, um, bottom line is I'm rocking and rolling. Things are great. I appreciate you guys for your trust and support. 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number. If you need me, contact me. Uh, and you know, I'll help you as best I can with your detailing endeavors. If you want to check out my products uh, at detailjuice.com. If you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, also, my group on Facebook, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. Um, we do welcome new members all the time. Uh, we're interested in you know getting you in there and showing you what's going on. Uh, please read the rules if you get past the screening process. We are screening everyone that comes in. We want only people in the group that 
really are interested in my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Of course, all the random haters are worried about what I've got going on, and I post that on enough of social media. Um, but uh, keep in mind, guys, don't forget what I tell you. This whole Untold Truth and Detailing series, um, I have literally spilled so much good, solid quality information that nobody else wants to talk about, and you guys can really benefit from that. So watch all of the installments. I don't know what number I'm on. I will know by the time I post the video, but um, that's where we're at. Just do your own research. Get out from behind your computer and go out to your garage, go outside and try to put things together. Try to figure it out. You'll, you'll waste so much time with all the bullshit on the internet. It is just ridiculous. Do yourself a favor and figure it out for yourself. Um, but if you know you want to reach out to me, I'll help you as best I can. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll have lots more videos coming up very soon. Um, just getting caught up from being out of town for two months. And, and again, I couldn't be happier at how, how things are going. Um, it, it, things are great. Thank you again for your trust and your support. Uh, I mean, none of my efforts would be worth it if you guys didn't pay attention, and uh, you are obviously doing that. So thank you again. Have a great day, guys.